Hi everyone, I'm Ms. Bazone, and today we're going to be talking about dividing fractions. I found this meme, I thought it was funny. The division symbol is just a blank fraction. You replace the dots with numbers. Things teachers never tell us. Honestly, I never thought about it before until I saw the meme. So, I, I didn't keep it from you for a reason. I promise. <laughs> Alright, so, I don't have any circles for this one. We're just going to go down and dirty with this. Alright, so one half divided by one third. Think of it this way. Because students never know why they divide this way. What's another way of writing division? Another way of writing it is one half divided by one third. Okay. One half divided by one third. So, one thing to get rid of that one third in the denominator, a common practice is to multiply by the reciprocal. The reciprocal is when you flip your fraction. So if I multiply this by 3 over 1, whatever you do on the top, the bottom of the fraction, you have to do on the top. So I'm going to do it up here too. So now what happens? What's 1 times 3? That's 3 over 3. What's 3 over 3? 1. So when, by doing that, by multiplying by the reciprocal, the denominator ends up going away and canceling to 1. On top, the last lesson was multiplying. 1 times 3 is 3 over 2 times 1 is 2. And then anything divided by 1 is itself, so 3 over 2. So what teachers did was we kind of left out this bottom piece and we're like, oh, just flip the second fraction when you multiply. The whole idea is when you're flipping your fraction that the bottom fraction, that one third ends up like canceling out that denominator. Um, but this is like the real process here. The whole idea that teachers go through is like, okay, we keep the first the same, change your division to multiplication, flip your second fraction, or take the reciprocal. Some teachers get really mad when you say flip the fraction, it's take the reciprocal of the fraction. And you get three over two. So this is the process that's typically taught. Keep it the same, change it to times, flip it. Keep change flip. Um, this is kind of like the reasoning behind it. Okay. So if this makes no sense to you, not a huge deal. It's nice to understand this is your process. All right, so we don't have to do this every time. So again, when we divide by a fraction, we're going to keep the first fraction the same, 2 over 3. We don't like division. We want to get rid of the division. Dividing is the same as multiplying by your reciprocal. Times 4 over 3. Take the reciprocal of the second fraction. Now that it's multiplication, multiply across, not cross multiply. 2 times 4 is 8. 3 times 3 is 9. Can we simplify that? No, we cannot. We are finished. All right, pause the video. Try the first two. Start with the first two. Again, we're going to keep that first fraction the same. 8 over 9. Change it to times. Take the reciprocal of the second fraction. Dividing is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. You can try to call cross cancel. You can just multiply across. It's up to you. If I multiply across, I get 32 on top, 54 on the bottom. What can I divide by? I think I can just divide by 2 and that's it. Divide by 2, divide by 2, you get 16 over 27 and that's your answer. Okay. Number 4, again it's the same process over and over again. First fraction stays the same. 
Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. I'm going to cross cancel this time. Three and six. Those cancel. Three goes into three once. Three goes into six twice. Five and ten. Divide by five. Divide by five. So 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4. Again, if you had multiplied, you would have gotten 15 over 60, and you can divide the top and bottom by 15. And you get 1 fourth. All right, there's your practice. Now pause the video again. If you haven't done 5 and 6, try 5 and 6 on your own. Right, so we're going to keep change flip. Keep it the same, turn it into multiplication, and flip your fraction. Right. Multiply my tops together, 14 over 21. I can simplify what can we divide by. I can divide the top and bottom by 7. And you get 2 thirds. Last one, 8 over 11 divided by 2 over 11. So we're going to keep it, switch it to times, take the reciprocal or flip it. Now here's a nice one. Notice those 11s. Notice those 11s. So my 11s cancel out, right? 8 over 2. Now this kind of annoys me as a teacher. A lot of kids are like, oh, I can simplify it to 4 over 1. What's anything divided by 1? It's 4. There's no reason to write it as 4 over 1. So many students, when we're doing a fraction problem, they'll, they'll leave the answer over 1. It's like, what, what's the point of that? It's 4. It's an integer. Write it like an integer. This is silly. It's silly. There's no reason for that. Write it correctly. Write it like a whole number. There's no reason for this. I find it very, it's a, it's a pet peeve of mine. I don't like it. it. Makes me mad. 4 over 1 is 4. Stop being silly. All right. So this is your practice. Now here are our steps. So when we divide our fractions, we're going to take the reciprocal, or take the reciprocal of the second fraction, or flip it, multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, simplify. Okay. So don't forget, we're multiplying. I didn't really write that in there, but make sure everything is, we end up multiplying. We end up multiplying. All right. That's the end of this lesson. I hope this was helpful. This was a quick review. This is a really good thing to remember for um, some algebra, especially algebra 2, pre-calculus. You do a lot with fractions, but not involving numbers. So you need to be able to do the ones with numbers if you're going to do the harder ones um, with trig functions. Okay? So have a great day.